Oh my god, 28. All right, okay. there. Okay. Arrivederci. Right. Bienvenido. All right, there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Shouties? What's goody? You know what I'm I'm Capri. It's serving smooth R&B today. I'm your girl, D. <laughs> nah, for it's real. We out here. So pally. Okay. <laughs> Taste the spirits with the shades. Oh, with God. the shades on. All shot day. <laughs> it's going to be all shot day today. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Welcome back hey, nice. to another episode. You know, we pulling them out here and there. We got some good things coming along, and I'm so excited for us um, yes. for this year about what's going to be going down. Yes. So thank you again for in- being in tune. What are we yes. drinking today? We are drinking Sealbox Private Reserve today. Yeah. Um, I think we did a lot. We had batch one in a lineup previously. Okay. Um, And so um, we're not starting with batch one today. Okay. We're going to actually start from batch two. Love it. I completely forgot to bring Batch 3, y'all, so I'm going to incorporate Batch 3 into another lineup. Gotta do what um, we gotta do. But we've got four very different options today, so I'm excited about that. Yes. Um, so my private reserve started like a year or two ago, I think two years ago now. Yeah. Um, and Like Lakes the end of 2021. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because um, we were still, this is when we were still at Evart Street. Right, yeah. When the first one came out, yep. so... Blake is cranking these out, yeah. <laughs> He's cranking them out, honey. I'm excited to try these. That well, to try them all side by side because yes. I haven't tried any of them side by side. Funny enough. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna waste too much time giving you a background on sealbox because y'all already know what it is. <laughs> um, and if y'all have interest in any, uh, well, some of these bottles that are still available, a couple of them are. Um, or anything else that you see on Sealbox, use the promo code SOUL okay. for free shipping. Um, that is SOUL, as in the soul of Soul Palette, um, for free shipping on your order at yes. Sealbox.com or the Sealbox Purr. app or whatever. Purr. Purr. And that's big per. <laughs> Get it back in blood. Get it back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it at all. <laughs> 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 Well, let's get into this first sip, honey. Because <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so we are starting with Sealbox Private Reserve Batch Two. Yeah. Um, let me see. It is a blend of oh god, the story. Blake has these very lengthy stories. So for Sealbox Batch Two, love you, Blake. We started with the same base blend as Batch One, um, and that was a blend of, um. Bourbon finished in this is all MGP. Um, bourbon finished in maple cast and bourbon finished in French oak cast were then blended together. So same base. Okay. Um, and then he wanted this batch to focus on the French oak influence. So he took about thirty gallons from the original batch one blend and twenty five of the unfinished oak, um, unfinished blend. Sorry, and then mixed them in um and more toasted oak for 90 days okay um this addition the addition of this to the final blend in his opinion was incredible so we'll see <laughs> <laughs> it added more depth and complex spice notes don't be telling me blake okay right geez <laughs> well i guess Jeez he's supposed to tell ways. people so the mash Tense. is 75 21 4 corn rye multi barley okay um like i said the source is mgp and it is a blend of 10 years and two month old bourbon and two years and six month old bourbon. Ooh. And it is a whopping 115.8 proof. Ooh. Okay. You know, like y'all okay. stuff so hot. I like it hot. <laughs> Everything is hot coming out of Sealbox, honey. Ooh. It's giving cherry orange. Yeah, it is like bitter cherry, too. Yeah. Almost maraschino is cherry, too. Just for or like the one of cherries that we had last night, the Luxardo cherry. Yeah, I get that when I um when I smell it like right from the top piece right, right here. I tasted some really yummy brandies the other day. Ooh. Um, some brandies that we're about to actually start selling, so I can't okay. wait to get the lineup in. We're gonna do an episode around. Love those. it, love it, love it. Uh-oh. Always here for it. Love it. Love Their it, love process it. is uh, like really uh. interesting. I also get mm. like butterscotch. I'm getting pepper. That wood spice is definitely there. Yeah. Vanilla. It's hard for me to get pet. French oak is not always one of my favorite finishes just yeah. because it's a very overpowering oak. That's real. Like, it's so distinct. Like, that pepper always jumps out. Right. With, um, with French oak. There's also some it's- kind of, like, I 
I guess it's the butterscotch. Maybe some like kind of like there's some candy sweet. like, mm-hmm. but maybe like those hard caramels. Maybe you know what I'm saying. Like it's also mm-hmm. like a oh, something so specific, and I cannot bring it up right now. One thing I love: your nose is working. Holy it's doing new. Thing. It tries. It tries. <laughs> it's doing its best, chef. <laughs> Mm. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I got whiskey. more of that cherry just now. Just, just throwing, throwing the whiskey. Just throwing it around. Throwing the whiskey. I cannot wait for my new phone to get here. I got the 14 Pro Max. I'm just yes. waiting for it to touch down. Yes. Ready to be it. done with you, Sprint. Fuck you guys. <laughs> so you're moving to what? Verizon. Okay. Mm-hmm. Was it free? With the phones? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, one of them we're trading in Ra's phone okay. for. Um, but I'm sending my phone back to Sprint. So there's no trade in there. And like just like that, there it goes. Like my nose is not there. Oh my goodness! Did I jinx it? Up? <laughs> mm. Who that pepper is there? Yeah, I feel the heat right on the back Ooh. palate and like already my at my throat. Jesus, damn! That's hot. That's hot. Yes. I need me a water spritz, Ooh, a water drop. Yeah. Drip, drippity, drop right here. Give me like five. Thank you, ma'am. Of course. Ooh, wow. On the nose, already opened that up. Way more of like whatever this like butterscotch situation is. Yeah. It like amplified it. But it almost is like now it's approaching like creme brulee because it's like something torched. Ooh, something with yes. fire on it. Yeah, mm. I'm lost now. Mm. Your waves are significantly lower. Why is that? Uh, I wasn't talking. For oh, because you were talking into. Okay, yeah. just making sure. <laughs> I was talking away from it. Mm. Y'all, when I say it's some kind of nuttiness, we are expanding our team. So excited! It's so exciting! I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> Ooh, I felt that one in my spirit. All in your soul. <laughs> mm, mm, good. Okay. All right. Once I manage to get past the fucking heat and pepper, oh, Jesus Christ, mm. it's hot. It's for real hot. That's what I definitely get cacao, like raw cacao. The tannins from that extra French oak, baby. It is tannic. Mm-hmm. Definitely mouth drying. Mm. More water definitely brings out more of the sweet, like, desserty type notes on the nose. Not quite on the palate. I feel like there's still, like, vanilla and, and cherry going on. Mm. This is interesting. Definitely vanilla, oh. like, vanilla bean, because yeah. it's kind of roasty. It also, um... Mm. Something else is giving me on the palate. Its mouthfeel is, like... It's water in my mouth, but it feels astringent. I guess mm-hmm. that's the tannins that we're talking about. It feels astringent, mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't mm. feel thick or viscous at all. Mm-mm. Texture-wise, that's interesting. Yeah. That's really interesting. But, like, some things, like, coat my my mouth. This mm-hmm. is a little bit opposite. Yeah, exactly. It kind of, like, like the flavor lingers, but it's present on the on the palate in terms of like feeling anything kind of right. dissipates quickly yeah definitely that is interesting okay, so I definitely get the chocolate. Too. yeah that chocolate is like that cacao is very much there yes it's like cacao pepper wood so y'all vanilla I wanna <laughs> play something that was cracking me up this week <laughs> and i mean cracking me all the way the motherfucker up. i was like in tears <laughs> i was in tears here we go hold on so this girl, y'all already know. I just want to ride. Buddy, yeah, yeah. I just want to ride. Buddy, yeah, So here. Buddy, yeah, yeah. Y'all got to listen for the progression of this motherfucker. <laughs> so that was two different things. This is. This is somebody's ass shaking. <laughs> and that is. This is somebody stomping their feet and clapping their hands like they are in the middle of church. <laughs> and now. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> She's, 
Why she said? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, First of all, her doing this hip shit is just really fucking funny to me. Wait, this is the funniest one. She is fucking her. <laughs> Can I do? Where did you go? Can I do? That is the best oh fucking my God. joy. Why are we like this? Why are we like this, black I don't people? Understand. Like, we're thank you for so being like this way, but why are we like this? What are we doing? Like, what the fuck? That shit is hilarious, yo. I don't understand. Like, oh, God. that's so funny. I love black people. Oh so my god, I love it so much. Like, it's just wow, wow. Oh my god, I love it so much. Wow. So yeah, so she just shaking her ass out here. I just want to rock with clapping <laughs> side to side, not your regular regular clap, side to side clap. Like like if you've seen those pendulum things with the balls and it clicks <laughs> and then it clicks, that, I feel like her cheeks are doing that. That's kind of what her cheeks was just doing. Like, <laughs> because the sound was her ass, right? It, it was, was giving it was giving instrument. <laughs> I just went, buddy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I wish my now, ass clap like that. Now when I hear that song, I go. No, no, need no, 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 we didn't even bring it up. Or an R and B band. No answer the question. Just it is because <laughs> I <laughs> Capri is being a good friend in solidarity with me. Yes. Because I have a bruise under my eye, y'all. Yes, I've been nursing a uh pulled out tooth <laughs> for a little over a week. Yeah. And um in trying to bring down the swelling of my face, <laughs> I went to sleep with ice on my fucking face and yeah. forgot. <laughs> And it bruised my, my fucking under my eye. Yeah. So instead of being on camera looking all battered and bruised, <laughs> I decided to just put on shades. I know some will ask, well, why not just wear concealer? I don't feel like beating my fucking face <laughs> for a regular fucking day yeah, at work. Right. Like, I'm just not that girl. Yeah. It's a lot of fucking work. That's 30 extra minutes of my morning I have to allocate and I don't have it. So right. Ooh, um, at least not for that. So... Yeah, it's the shades. <laughs> so now that we've cleared that up for those who are looking and not listening, <laughs> we can move on to Wittered or not. I didn't even think about it. Like, y'all, didn't, y'all didn't even have to have no explanation on my part. You right about that. But, that but because nice. we've never worn shades on the show weird. before, I wanted to be like, well, what the fuck's that about? <laughs> like, they just go wear shades and I say nothing? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just not gonna talk about it because you would definitely ask that question if you was watching the podcast. Uh, no, most of like we know y'all are in Capri's house. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Legit, what are we doing? Even hungover, I don't wear my shades inside. So. Me neither. Yes. I, don't, I don't. I just it's just too dark. Like I don't get it. But my mother can wear shades at any time of day How? in any venue. No, you can't see. I know any, you can't see. She ain't I, trying to see either. <laughs> I know you She's can't not trying see. to see. I need to see. Like, she don't care. In a nightclub, she don't I want to see her eyeballs. See. She don't want to see yours. <laughs> and then she got the bangs that meet you right at the shades. Yes. So it's all down here. You can't see nothing. Nothing. Child. Not giving a fuck. Uh-uh. She's about to do I'll her be- Eat, Pray, Love in Columbia, yeah. y'all. So that'll be interesting to to hear how all that goes. That is going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. We should bring her on afterwards. Yes, we should. Actually, that's a great idea. Yeah. Hear about all the escapades. Maybe that'll be a good, uh, I know y'all sick of hearing me say it, a good Patreon episode. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Well, now that we're about to be able to allocate some things to some other sides, yes. it's going to be able to be streamlined to do so. So Yes, I'm, I'm ready for that. So this is going to be great. 2023 is going to be very productive. Yeah. Productive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And if you haven't already, set your intentions for the year, y'all, which I want to get accomplished. Yes. And watch it unfold. We had a nice uh, dinner party last night where we talked mm-hmm. about our intentions and stuff for the year. Yeah. That was a good combo. It was great. 
And that's a great night. It was a great, it was a great fucking night. I was so proud of how I did that dinner party. I yeah. did not, I didn't have nothing to stress about. Yes. I didn't, I wasn't like steady cooking while yeah. y'all were like were there or whatever. Like right. I wanted to make sure I could actually enjoy myself yes. and chill out and relax. And yes. that's exactly what the fuck I did. Love it. So. She made this bomb lasagna, delicious salad, of course mm-hmm. a good cheese board. Yes. It was great. And I kept it nice and small. And we I had. Do yeah. too And we had four, five bottles of wine. We went through a lot of wine. Five. <laughs> and my, and, and I had the nerve to pop up at fucking 530. I can't believe it. I don't understand how I did that. I, I had wine. That I had bubbles. I had punch. <laughs> then we had to know to take shots. Oh, we, yeah. We, take we took shots. shots. I, forgot about I just that. thought about that. Two shots. Yeah, yeah. And me and Tunchy smoked. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jesus. I smoked a little bit. I smoked a little bit. It was a time. It was quite a Sunday. <laughs> Shout out to the Mayos. I'm so happy to have yeah. them at my house. Shout out to the Shout Mayos. Shout out to you. Per, 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 literally the Okay, what we got going on for we don't know with it or motherfucking naw? <laughs> <laughs> so good old Carisha. Oh lord. <laughs> so apparently she now has a game coming out. I know I wanted it, but it's sold out. I was going to yeah, try to get it for, so, for Aruba, but it sold the fuck out. Of course it is. We get it till March. It's I think is it called Carisha Please? What's it called? Yeah, it's not, it's like uh Carisha question some. Uh, <laughs> She Can said the name of it too. I can't remember. Um, but so it's this game where you gotta take a shot if you've done whatever is on the card or whatever. Yes. And so, as everyone has seen on this Trina episode, <laughs> <laughs> the one of the questions or one of the statements was take a shot if you have ever done golden showers or if you right. like golden showers. I think it was. <laughs> and even if she intended for this question to be for Trina, she wound up pulling the card. Yep. And could not help but tell the truth that apparently she herself does enjoy a golden, golden shower. Like, ma'am. I mean, we learn something new every day. So, do. I was actually initially surprised yeah. that she's into that. Risha Roulette. Risha Roulette. There we go. Yes. Okay, which is a great name, actually. Yes. Um, but I was actually kind of surprised that I was to, to learn that she's into golden showers. I was too. And then like, I thought about... Oh, to be on the receiving end, I guess I was more surprised about... I Okay, boom. That. Mm-hmm. I was definitely surprised about that. But I was also thinking like, okay, like, you know, if I understand her background was like being with the rich, being mm-hmm. like Scammy Sammy, mm-hmm. and kind of like being in these places and where she probably into that shit. Yeah, she got into some weird shit for probably some change too. You know what I'm shit. saying? The like, same type of dudes that want you to have like this extra cl- eat clean diet for a week and then come shit on them. Yeah. So that's a lot though. You want that's when the shits are the heaviest. Mm-hmm. When you like getting your that's the in. point. <laughs> <laughs> they want a good old healthy turd on them. <laughs> Disgusting. Ah, that is so crazy. It's fucking disgusting. No but, kink shaming. No kink shaming. No, that's pretty. No. That's disgusting. <laughs> Not kink shaming at all. I draw I the line. I draw the line at shit and piss. Me, me personally, like me too. now and, because and, she was saying it like she don't like shit in blood absolutely she, I don't even understand why blood's even part of the conversation when it comes to sex I just can't I'm not even running no red lights I'm not doing that <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> there was a point in time where I considered it and I was like okay sure let's try it uh, it's a bit uncomfortable I don't yeah, like it it's uh, a lot I'm, I'm getting real self conscious I don't like it <laughs> yeah. uh, it's just I can't get past that piece but it, mm, just turds and things but she said she likes it like in the actual shower like Okay, and it means like, but I'm, then I'm thinking about like, okay, what if you have a really acidic diet? Yeah. What if like, ew, if it comes out really like golden yellow, gross? I don't want a literal golden shot. Like, you need to be drinking water all day. <laughs> it needs to come out damn near clear, if not clear. Bruh. Like, there's got to be rules and stipulations. <laughs> but that's exactly why I'm just not going to participate in it at all. All right, P. Diddy, though. You got to hear it, <laughs> Okay, now, it's the, the best part about this shit, first of all, the whole episode is good because she gets Trina, like, she gives you a different side of Trina. Oh, I love it. In okay. this, which I love a lot because she opened up a lot more and them taking shots and shit. Yeah. It was giving drunk Auntie Trina. Yeah. <laughs> and she's just talking to her her niece who's finally an adult. Yeah. And so, because she definitely speaks like, a, like an auntie, like someone with no kids. Yeah. 
because I feel like if she had kids, she would probably be a little more mortified by the question, by yeah. the topics or whatever. But because, um, but because she doesn't have kids, it's not the same. Yeah, like just talking to another grown adult, even though she came up under her. Um, but it was really great conversation. Um, I like drunk Auntie Trina. I love that. I think it was really, really, really good. She opened up more about like her mom and stuff, and about like oh, wow. they got into more like Trina don't talk about none of her like past relationships and stuff like uh-huh. that. She doesn't talk about it. She actually talked about uh-huh. though, like she talked about French Montana. She talked about what's French his name, Montana. James Hardy. What the fuck? That's random. She talked about James like, Hardy. What? Bitch, yes. <laughs> That's so random. G- yeah. She talked about Lil Wayne a little bit. She's always said nice oh, things about her relationship totally. with Wayne, though. Yeah. Um, and about her, well, now ex fiance, because I learned from watching Carisha Please, she's no longer engaged. So, um, um so she opened up a lot, which yeah. is good to see. So it's a great episode. It's worth watching the whole thing. Okay, love that. Um, but I'm not, to, to answer it for y'all, I am not with Golden Showers. No, uh-uh. I'm good. No, we I'm good. with everybody doing what they want to do, but. I'm okay. Me personally, I'm not with it. I'm a squirter, so people want me to squirt on them all the damn time. And my squirt is a lot. It ain't like, oh, it See, that's it's the like, thing about squirt. It's like so much of it. It's so much. So, like, I've had niggas want me to be on them, but I'm not about to do it, bro. Yeah, no. Like, what's the point? I don't, that's the part I don't necessarily get. Like, what does it do Like, to, like, I guess to it, give you the tingles? Like, I don't. It's like, oh, I'm so, I'm so. I'm so pissed. I'm, I'm so, so pissed on. Dirty. That maybe. Maybe I'm a dirty birdie. Like, dirty little girl. I'm a dirty little birdie. <laughs> I don't want to. That's not the type of dirty I'm trying to feel. I'm good. And then it's all warm and shit. I don't know. Like, just, is it the warmth? I don't know. Again. I don't know. There's a lot of other things I could. You could pour warm water on me. Right. Maybe some tea. Right. We could pour green tea on me. It's good for your skin. The one um, guy he wanted to pee while stroking me, which was uh, like, uh, I'm like, all right. <laughs> and so he wanted to pee inside. Of me. <laughs> yeah. He wore a condom still. Yes, that was still. What but like, it still, still would have been. been, been, been it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm good, bro. Why? So weird. What does that do for you? That. I think no. the worst, the worst that ever happened all, to me was when this guy didn't tell me that he had kidney stones and passed his kidney stones while fucking me. I I thought that I started bleeding, and I find out it wasn't even me. And I come back, he was like, "Oh, I got something to tell you." I'm like, nigga, what do you? First mean? of all, doesn't that hurt me? for the guy? Yeah, well, supposedly it's it, it it does hurt, but it feels the best when it's through ejaculation instead of it coming out any through other kind pee. Of like, yeah. And I'm like, bro, so, why are you telling me this so shit? His kidney stones were in a like, were in, in the condom, condom, but some of the blood was seeping out of the condom. Yeah, that's so fucking disgusting. That's disgusting, bro. Like, You're fucking. I'm like, see, I can't be fucking with these old ass niggas. <laughs> no, because and that's such a childish way to handle it. Like oh you didn't God. even bother to like, like give I don't me the respect. How old he was, but he was definitely like, old. First of all, old. you don't need to be fucking. While you passing kidney stones, my yeah, guy, just like tell somebody you need to like, just masturbate and call it a day. If you need to get it out via ejaculation, you need to do that on your own. Yeah, like, ugh. don't use me for your pride. And then, ew, what if your weird, creepy ugh. blood gets in Child. my innards? I was like, and then what we're the like, fuck, bro. That's where it's just. He was like, like, I hope I see you again. I'm never, like, mm. never. No, and I never saw him again. It's a he hell also was no. horrible at eating out at restaurants. He was the one of uh, those guys like is there one that eats chicken here? everywhere. Child, or, what is oh this with these things? Yeah, I got chicken tenders. Y'all, why y'all so fancy? I was like, oh no, oh no, that is one of my least favorite words in the world. Yeah. Fancy, <laughs> it's so misused. It's so on misused. a regular basis that I just don't even want to hear the word anymore. I, I, like, I, actually, I really agree with that. I like, really do. There's what never the a need to mean? use the term fancy. fancy. Oh, you fancy, huh? Yeah, I oh, hate you that. Fancy, huh? <laughs> Fuck y'all for making that song because yeah. now every now these dudes, these basic they ass dudes, when it's something that they, don't, they don't know. Just it's because like, you don't know it, it's fancy. It's not though. Just because you're at a fucking place with white tablecloths and linen napkins, that's not so fancy, Peach. No. And that's also a palace shawl Yeah, okay. Wait. Okay, because what? what? Like, no, get it together. Come on now. Just because there's more than wings and tenders on the menu does not mean it's fancy. Legit. It's, okay, just I don't even food. know what to call it. It's fucking food. <laughs> like, I don't even have a term for it. It's, it's just, just fucking food. food and it's, it's just all food. it is. Mm. Yeah, child. <sighs> That's an honorary with it or not. I am not with the word fancy. Nah, fuck that. Uh, we're canceling fancy. 
this year. Cancel. In 2023. <laughs> We're canceling fancy. Done. We're we retiring that term. Like, what the fuck? Because it's, it's not giving that. Because, like, come on, use something else. Please use something else. I'm like, oh, it's like, out of my scope. Oh, this is this is something I haven't tried before. Like, legit, legit. just because you're uncomfortable or unfamiliar... And then you use the term fancy as like it like it's a bad thing. Like it's been given yeah. this negative connotation. Like same with the word fucking bougie. Please cancel bougie. <laughs> Please cancel bourgeois. I use like, bougie as a joke. I never people use, it use serious. people use it seriously it's though. Stupid. Oh yeah, so bougie. It's like what's, what, what does that mean? mean to you? Or even worse, when someone self proclaims as bougie, spell it. <laughs> And it's always the bitch that can't spell it. <laughs> that calls themselves bougie. Spell it right now. If you're hearing this, spell it in the comments right now. Don't you <laughs> Google it. Don't you Google that shit. And you know what? Autocorrect is going to fix it anyway. Oh, so true. never mind. On the laptop. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> does it? I don't think it does for me. You see if the autocorrect's bougie? That's funny shit. as fuck. I'm telling y'all it's funny. I don't even know if I know it's funny as shit. Y'all know we random. I think it is B. Oh, well, by now y'all should have commented it, but... <laughs> B O U G I E, I think. But I think well, the French bougie, version is bourgeois. And I think that's B O U. Now, is that a G? Like, or is it a G <laughs> I O S? Bourgeois? That's, what, that's what's in my head. Like, mm. okay, y'all, spell check us. <laughs> Let me know spell, some. Literally, spell it, please. Let me know some. <laughs> now, yeah, now we're not even challenging you. We want to know. Just, just, <laughs> We actually want to know how do you spell bourgeois? Like, hey Siri, oopsies. No, that's funny. That's Ooh, fine. Um, we what else is under sip? witter or nah? Yes, let's do second sip and then we'll do the second witter or nah. Second sip, second sip, second sip. Just the tip of that second sip. <laughs> Not the tip of the second the sip. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oops. Okay, so second sip is the single uh, seal box private reserve batch two point X. Okay, so this actually came out after batch three. Okay, and so let me see. This is the same blend of a ten year two month bourbon and a mm. two year six month old bourbon. Um, finished in toasted French oak and ex bourbon maple syrup barrels, and spent additional twelve months in a used bourbon barrel. Huh. So that is where the X comes in. So it still had that extra French oak influence. Okay. But in addition to that 90 days in the extra French oak, it spent another 12 months in a used bourbon barrel. Okay. So that is interesting. Um, same mash, 75214 corn rye malted barley. Okay. Um, and yeah, we are at 116 proof. Oh, we went up. <laughs> we went up a little notch. Let's see. The extra time in another bourbon barrel definitely adds ooh, not need to blow my nose definitely adds another um another layer of complexity yeah for fucking sure <laughs> it like it calms down like as i'm smelling it it calms down those like super peppery notes yeah that i was getting from the french oak <laughs> and it's giving me more of like that caramel that vanilla a little bit of leather that's actually kind of cool. I'm kind of wondering now what bourbon was in the barrel that, like the used barrel that he used. That's like, really was it MGP in that barrel? Was it one of Manifest barrels? And like, because mm. I feel like that would make a little difference too. Well, with whiskey, every piece makes a difference. That's so, real. Which yeah. is the fun part about it. I'm back to nothing. Oh, damn. I can breathe in my nose, but. Oh, I can only breathe in one nostril, but. Yeah, I'm getting it brings out more of the quintessential bourbon notes for nice. real. The caramels, the the vanillas, the tobacco, the leather. I feel like chocolate's trying to happen. Yeah. It's trying to happen. Maybe once I blow my nose it'll happen, but we shall see. Definitely calms down that pepper though, because that's the one thing I don't love about French oak. Yeah. Ooh. Again, with that heat, like, Ooh. right in the front. Except this time, it's not in the Ugh. back of my palate as much. It's moving more towards uh. the middle and at the roof of my mouth. Roof for me, tip. Ooh. Right, like, mid-tip. This one's kind of like a cherry bomb. Oh. 
Oh, mm. definitely. Still kind of feels astringent. Yeah, but less, still less than the last one. So, <laughs> yes, oh. drop me, baby. Keep going. Yeah, let's see what seven is giving. Actually, let me get a couple more. It's hot, honey. Yeah, it's, it's hot. hot. And it's not even it's not even the proof that's making it do that. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's all the time in oak. Mm. This one's got a ton of cherry. Yeah. A There's ton a of cherry. Chocolate there too. Cinnamon, chocolate. That's interesting. The water is nice. Help the pep the like heat calm down for sure. Definitely wood. <laughs> the wood, like, yeah, the oak is definitely oaking. Ooh, okay, yeah, that opened me up a little bit. Pause. Yes. <laughs> Open her up. <laughs> mm. Mm. After water, though, that's really good. Mm hmm. Wow. That cherry is, like, hard I for me to it. get past. Like, what I can taste, I can definitely taste the cherry. Yeah. It's like the first and last thing I taste. And everything else like, kind of uh, happens in between. I don't know. It's like fresh. It's not fresh cherries. No. It's like cherry, like concentrate. Yeah. It's like very much there. One of these days, I need Blake to come into town. Or maybe we make a trip to Jacksonville or something. That'd be kind of yeah, fun. Yeah, fuck it. Have an excuse to go to Manifest. Yeah. To maybe record in Manifest. That could be fun. Um... Because I want to talk about, like, his process for picking stuff. Yeah. And, like, what he looks for when he's making a selection. Like, I already kind of know what he looks for because we do blends and all that type of stuff together. Yeah. But he, a lot of, most of this he's done by himself. Yeah. So, I want to pick his brain about this process but I'm really in a not formal about way. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, we coming to Jacksonville, Blake. Where'd Big Blake go. Cotton I do. <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you go? I can't get that song out of my head. <laughs> I can't get oh that motherfucking hand clapping out of my head. <laughs> that shit is so fucking funny to me. <laughs> like, why did you do that, sir? <laughs> oh, my God. Like, how country are we right now? I so, cannot. like, y'all know us. You know, we be talking about legendary. Legendary, right? legendary. And emote, emote. Emote, emote. They really try. And they got us fucked up. They really do. And I'm just like, I want to know reasons, but... If y'all haven't heard the news, Legendary has been canceled and will not be coming back we're to not HBO Max. We're not picked up for season four? Because we had season three seasons, four, right? Yes. Season four, which is ridiculous. <sighs> it's ridiculous. It's just kind of like, what? Why? Like, why? Maybe somebody... There's no way y'all didn't get... You had the audience. Y'all had, you the, had audience, the audience, my G. It might be really expensive to produce. It definitely is probably Because, I mean, production the production was definitely production. Like from the production and the yin yin. The outfits, Sets the fucking sets, to, the fucking, I mean. It was the, a lot. Everything that was being put into those performances, you could tell it was a lot on the back end. And you know, low key, I would be okay if they cut the budget on the sets because I thought it would start to take away from the actual dancing. From the actual voguing. Yeah. For sure. So it's like, let's like, first off, y'all about, y'all trying to be <laughs> motherfucking ballroom and extra mm-hmm. to the T. So like, even the fucking mm-hmm. challenges were like, all right, this is extra. I feel like they could have <laughs> they could have judged it up and made it so like these competitions are happening like in re- in a real ballroom environment. Yes, I agree. Like bring the judges to the environment. I agree. I think that would bring out a whole nother level of rawness and like I agree. getting back to the essence of the whole point. Ballroom. The ballroom. Because that was always the motherfucking uh, critique anyways, yep. right? So if that's the critique yep. anyways, let's make a but setting bring where they're actually going to want to do that because if I'm popping out of a teapot and trying to get on this jump, this jungle gym, yeah, bitch, I'm not voguing. I am an It's going to be kind of hard to do 360s <laughs> and fucking hop off a carousel Period. thing and do some other extra shit that y'all had him doing. So, Period. Like, we could have scaled remember? back. Oh my God. So I'm thinking like the setting of, do you remember there was this MTV show where they were like battle rapping almost with like oh, jokes and shit and it was um, always like in like the like alleyway or like outside in a random park or some oh shit oh my god yo yes, mama i remember 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Talk about god. a fucking throwback. Yo, I need to go watch that. I have not watched that probably Yo. since it was popular. Right? <laughs> Literally. But, oh my but god. Something like that where it's like, all right, we outside. Like we, we outside we with are it. In this gym. We like, are go to the major metropolitan cities and yes. dive into you know their kind of hub, their ballroom yes, hub yes. of that city. Bring the judges there, pull those houses, right. and then have them compete because you like something along something. those lines. Yes. Like there's, I mean, obviously if then they're accounting for travel in the budget, blah 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 blah. Right. But I mean, there's always gonna be a budget. I mean, there's so, always gonna be a budget. Like but what the fuck? You was flying them out to compete. Exactly. You were flying them out to, you know, I don't know. Maybe you're flying out staying, less maybe. people that way. Yeah, actually, you're flying just the judges. Period. So. And their teams. Yeah, like. So, but I can see how that that bill was tallying up probably a lot over there. HBO, Hell like yeah. makeup artists, designer, they yes. were paying law to style certain yes. people, and like I'm sure. But look, yeah. HBO, y'all got it. Y'all got y'all old got money, money, baby. Old money. Okay, that's one thing you're not I, lacking in is a motherfucking coin. Her. So I'm not with it. But I'm hopeful that it. another network will hopefully pick up the I show. So too. God, I hope so. Like, because we need legendary back. We do. Oh, I shit. feel like I need to like start a go not go fund me. Start a petition or something. <laughs> Definitely not a go fund me. Child, speaking of go, go fund me. me, you know the old lady Harla who passed? Who? Um the old lady who was always cursing her family out. No, I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> I don't God. remember that no. She was popular on TikTok for cursing out her motherfucking family members all the time. They be saying they say something like like because she had um I think breast cancer or something like that. Oh. And so they would say something like, Well, why don't we try some more holistic ways instead of doing all this medication, chemo, whatever? Holistic <laughs> I ain't no hoe and I ain't no listic. <laughs> oh my god. Like she would be cursing a motherfucker out. Yeah. Okay. So she recently passed. Okay. And um let me look up old lady Holla. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holla. <laughs> TikToks. I don't know why they call her Holla. I guess that's just what her family call her. Okay. But um to my mood is pillow motherfucker. Oh god. She's funny as fuck. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> what the, um, TikTok? What the fuck? TikTok always does they, like, they, shit. What, they, they, they always pull something up that you didn't click on. Did I do like I didn't ask for none of it? Next, okay. What the fuck? Swipe up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That's Holla. Nice. <laughs> the coup is for support, Holla. So, Holla, are you feeling better? Yes. 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 Okay, y'all see eating this cantaloupe stuff? Oh, they say, are you going on a plant-based diet now? No. Because they see you eating fruits and everything. So they be having wrong lives. You stuff. must be going vegan. <laughs> you must be going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So, but she be cursing him out and shit. Oh, wow. Like, what's that? What? What? why is TikTok doing this to me? Oh, this is no. why I don't like TikTok. Yeah, it's TikTok too much. It's so much, y'all. And so, where am I holly be going off on people? Uh-huh. And so, what made me um, think about it was, I guess her, like, daughter, one of her daughters, I don't know how many kids she had, but um, had put out, like, a, a GoFundMe saying that she didn't have um, life insurance or whatever, started this GoFundMe for the funeral costs, what have you. So I think she raised like over $40,000 towards wow. it or whatever. Yeah. Um, but apparently, apparently it's real, it gets real messy in people's families and shit. There was, I guess the brother, like it came out and publicly said like there actually wasn't a need for like the GoFundMe or whatever. Oh, no. Like apparently, I don't know. Well, um, okay, then that sounds like she wasn't trying to show the wealth. No, so she, <laughs> I think the sister, so the sister was the primary, like that voice we heard in the background, yeah. I think that was her daughter. So she's the primary caregiver for oh, Grandma so she Holla. Needed the money. And, and so that's what I'm thinking. And they asked for and, it. Child, I don't know. I don't you know, know. When, people see, when people see numbers, they start being like, hey. Exactly. Yeah. And child, it's a fucking mess. So apparently... Uh, not how Twitter is mourning. Was Twitter mourning Grandma Holla? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry right. to laugh about that. Twitter. I mean, she right. died in 97. She lived a full life. Yeah. And she cursed motherfuckers out to the day she died. Love it. 
And she called everybody a motherfucker, all types Love of ways. She threatening to slap motherfuckers and shit like Grandma Holla, honey. Yeah. But yeah, apparently there's like some scandal there with the oh, um no, with, the, with the GoFundMe situation. So oh. mm, I'm gonna keep an ear to the street on that one simply keep because I'm nosy because I really don't care that much. But right. I'm nosy and I always find <laughs> that type of stuff to be very interesting. <laughs> so if y'all gonna put it out there, I guess I'll tap in and listen. Right. Um, but Roz one even got me hip to that in the first place because she look at all the, all the like stuff that goes viral on, on social media and stuff. Yeah. She's the one that gets me hip to. Oh wow! Um, well, there we go. Okay, family reportedly fights over money. That's us. Oh. That's so unfortunate that death always brings that out. It of does. People. Like it really does. This is the worst time to be fighting. This is like the and fighting over money. Supposed of all, to be coming together. Like leaning on each other and shit. Like what's this video? Oh, that's a 15-minute video. No, yeah, I'm good on that. We good. Not watching 15 minutes no, of Holla. No, no. That's a whole fucking lot. Oh, her name was Helen Davis, best known as Queen Holla <laughs> of the Lottery Frappe and Laughs. Hella Davis? What? Lottery Frappe and Laughs. What the hell is that? What does that mean? That's a page on Instagram. Lottery Frappe and Laughs. Okay, is that like a group of people who share a, Fra- a page? Frappe, frappe, like, like from Starbucks? like the drink, yeah. Frappe, lottery, frappe, and laughs. Okay, it's really random. Okay. Never even heard of that. See, this is, I don't be knowing. Oh, oh, this is like a YouTube thing. Okay, I don't, I don't know. It's like oh, a whole YouTube oh, channel. I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, All right, well. Anyway, wish y'all family the best, child. Don't yeah. fight over money. <laughs> Nobody wins when a family feuds, child. No, they don't. Like, let it go. That's just find fucking common wild. Ground, please. Please find some common ground. Jeez. Like, it's that's just a mess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Bring yeah. Legendary back. That's all I care about. Go fund me for Legendary to come back. Yeah. Apparently, HBO needs help. Please. Yeah, with all that extra money they toting around. Y'all, y'all got some projects on HBO Max that y'all can really stand to actually cancel and bring Legendary back. Because some of this new shit that's coming out, I'm just like, why? Like what? Like, I don't even understand. Um, there was one joint where the trailer just looked real weird. The Last of Us. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. And then there's like these late night shows. Ah, I'm, I'm good off those. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to talk sports with Bomani Jones. Yeah. Like, I'd rather watch Legendary. <laughs> yeah. Me personally. That's real. Um, I could kind of do without the new Gossip Girl. I, uh, I like it, but I don't love it. Like, I love the old Gossip Girl. Yeah. And so I feel like that's that's some money you could play with right there. <laughs> I gotta cut I it. just, gotta three gotta things you could cut right there. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So. Um, execs at HBO, come on, let me. I, we, can talk, we can talk about this budget. We can talk about it. That's funny as hell. Let's do... Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get into what's tea. Let's do our third tip, and then let's get into what's tea. Okay. What's going on in these scrapes? Third tip. Third tip I'm excited about, because I already know I love it. Okay. <laughs> so, this is our first Sealbox 15-year. Uh, so, this one sold very fucking quickly i mean all of them kind of sold quickly but yes this one sold very fucking quickly and they only came in 375s if you were okay. not able to get your hand on one so sorry but yeah oh they gone they were they're gone so this was mine <laughs> well it can be well i'm not gonna be petty i have extra <laughs> i do have an extra let me not uh, be petty because uh, i do be hoarding uh, my bottles like shit i actually sidebar so proud of myself i purged I did a lot of purging this weekend. Where did you give it to? So there's a lot of it lined up on that damn, um, on the, underneath the credenza where Roz bar is. Okay. Some of it was went upstairs. Um, I should have took some, but there's a lot. I should have, I should have fucking had y'all look at stuff and take what y'all want, but drives. So exactly. And he doesn't live far from me. So now we know. Capri going to be in Merle, (laughs) y'all. I don't know. At least more often, hopefully. <laughs> but um, I purged a lot off my bar, actually. Yeah. Like, at least a few cases worth. Yeah. So, um, my bar was looking nice and it was more clean. I had less bottles up there on yeah. top because I put way more down underneath. Nice. Um, and I pulled some stuff and just packed it up for stuff that I'm going to use for, like, tastings or whatever. Yeah. Um, 
and just I've been taking inventory of like what I have and stuff and like reorganized everything. That was a fucking project. That took I bet. at least a couple hours. I don't even want to try to rearrange the small little bit I got. It's it's a lot. I really don't. It was it's definitely a lot. I realized I had some doubles of bottles that I didn't need doubles of. I was like, oh That's god, real. I'm just doing a lot over here. <laughs> um, you never know when you're gonna drink one and need the and backup. need the other. No, so those I definitely accounted for that. For the ones I know <laughs> I like that much yeah. and I'm gonna want to have a backup bottle. Like yeah. those are ones I put away and whatever. Cause I don't need two of the same sitting in my cabinet. How long did it um, take? It took about three hours. Wow, okay. It took about three hours. I time lapse. I took some time lapse a <laughs> video of it That's of the process. That shit was a lot. Yeah, you got a fucking video of the cats going in and out the thing, <laughs> hopping in and out the fucking uh, cabinet and shit, getting yeah. on my goddamn nerves. <laughs> but um, but it was a good little process. Yes. I'm glad I did it. I was quite yeah. proud of myself, yeah. and Rob was so happy. <laughs> she was so happy, oh, and then she yeah. wound up purging some chairs. Okay. In solidarity. This is the word of the week. Solidarity. <laughs> so, yes, I purged and got rid of stuff. But I say all that to say, I think I have an extra 15 year tucked okay. away in my office somewhere. So, mm-hmm. I should be able to bequeath you with this. Hey, Shade. Talk to it. Talk to me, baby. So, uh, <laughs> taste number three. Okay, okay. Is a whopping 124.4 proof. We're just going up. It is 15 and five months, 15 years and five months old. This one is sourced from Bardstown. So we are out of MGP. Mm -hmm. That's why I like this one so much too. I prefer Bardstown, I think. Okay. Um, These two are MGP. MGP. Yes, first two are MGP. And I think that's what, when we talk about the stringency, Mm -hmm. that makes sense to me. Yeah. So this one's out of Bardstown. Okay. Um, 741818 corn rye malted barley. Okay. Ooh, okay. And, oh, 741818 corn rye malted barley? Yep. Wow, okay. Let me see. Oh, the story. Backstory. Here we go. Barrel proof ultra aged bourbon is a rare commodity these days. This is Sealbox's first non finished release. As a bespoke independent bottler, we had to make it special. This low rye bourbon mash bill highlights the elegance of aged whisker. Ooh, 124. 124. Out the right out the dough. I don't know. I want to say caramel. This one doesn't smell as hot. Definitely caramel. <laughs> there's caramel. There's like deep, rich, like sweet cherry. Marshmallow? Marshmallow for fucking sure. That's all I get from a little bit. I Ooh, that marshmallow. Poof, that is poof. interesting when you can smell marshmallow and whiskey. Like. Right? That is a very interesting note that I've been newly experiencing. I love the little bottle. The caps are great for travel. They don't travel that well. We definitely got to figure out something else. What's wrong with for them? the next? Re- like they leak. They leak. I hate that. So yeah, much. so we got to do like the plastic, like shrink wrap situation on them. Uh, but um, yeah. Other than that, I love the packaging of this though. Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, why is my nose giving stuff stuff? I think it's. I I am now uh, equating it to um I think it's the blood Europe. circulation. Oh really? Um, so like hmm. when I'm when I'm active or moving and I'm, my blood is circulating, yeah. my nose is fine. Something about sitting down and like not moving as much is is closing up my nose. Hmm. So that is an interesting point. Fucking nose. Hmm. Sorry. Let, me for let my legs move around or something. So get the flowy, uh, flowy, yeah, flowy. Just a <laughs> stuck ass place. Yeah. Also, I need a humidifier in this bitch, which I'm. I need to get buy. a humidifier too. I need to get a bigger one. My house after is. We get off the show. I okay. had a little baby one for the house of D Street, but yeah. it's not given. Yeah, that I little, need, that little tinker truck. This is a big space. Mm-hmm. I think I need it. My plants need it. We all need it. Yes. We all need it, don't we, loves? We all need some humidity. That baby over there looking good though. I'm gonna water y'all tomorrow. Yeah, I need to water mine too. But yes, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so definitely that caramel. It's giving those roasty, like you said, marshmallow. Yeah, I, get it. I get a little smoky. Exactly what type of smoky I can't identify right. yet. Peppery. More white pepper than anything. Cacao, chocolate? Though. Yeah, cacao. Very raw cacao because it yeah. smells like dry. Right, that's the way. only part I'm getting. It's kind of the dryness. Weird to say, It's guys. interesting, like... The texture of smell, if that makes sense. I was sense. about like, to say. The type of air you're breathing. Reminds what I felt, if I felt it in a certain way, in a different capacity before. Yeah. Which is why I can guess 
these notes because when I'm saying them, I'm like, I don't really know if that's what it is, but the way that it, the smell feels, feels. that is very <laughs> fucking fun. I love that the way it feels. That's so accurate. And also though. how it hits my throat reminds me of certain things Pause. too. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, yesterday was on my Touchy. face. <laughs> oh my face. Okay. Um. Yes. <laughs> Trying to, y'all was trying to get this man to motherfucker send me pictures and shit, and he don't. He'll get there. He'll get there. <sighs> one of these days, one of these days, he's gonna cave. It's okay, I'm just gonna mm. be away too long. Mm. 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 <laughs> you don't want me to forget, do you? You don't want me to forget, do you? Right. Maybe while I'm, maybe while you on vacation, sure. mm-hmm. we'll see. Seven days is a long time. <laughs> it is. Who is hot? Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Oh god! Sorry, y'all. The way that, that <laughs> the way that joke just choked me out. <laughs> I'm sorry, damn. That was aggressive. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> My God, I'm in oh, full blue. I'm not even gonna drop that bitch. God, that was funny. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh it's hot. Okay, I almost motherfucking spit it out and then swallowed it. It was Ooh, hot. pause, pause, and pause. <laughs> Push play and then pause again. <laughs> it was so much innuendo in that. <laughs> okay. I know I'm a perv, I don't know if but anybody out there has ever. This is so funny to me. We start to see and come so much on a regular basis that anything else that looks like it, you just can't stop thinking about coming. I just like, I mean, what was it? Something was coming out. Lotion. Lotion was coming out. And I was like, mm, I remember that. Oh, <laughs> my like, God. It was like, I just like, girl, you see yeah. anything white coming out of a hole, you're like, oh, yeah. Ooh. Like, <laughs> First of all, so if you've ever had that moment, let me know. Cause right. Can you over late? <laughs> Cause I don't know about that one. I don't seeing that I don't uh, I don't deal in penises these days. I don't quite have that experience. Thankfully, lotion still looks like lotion to me. We're like wow. Except for when I'm being childish, because anything can look (laughs) anything can look like like an innuendo to me. So you did have a lot in the morning. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a good old morning time. (laughs) Yes. First of all, I love that for you. Uh, I love that for you. You manifested that's crazy. I really the did. shit out of that man. <laughs> I really did. It's manifested the shit out of that man. It is so Capri sad. wanted to be a pessimist so bad, <laughs> y'all. She wanted to be a pessimist so was. bad. And the universe was like, bitch, cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. We know you want to I was too. a pessimist, but I was also talking about if, if, if anything was to happen, I wanted it to be blah, 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 blah. Specific, yes. And specific, it came. It did. Crazy. <laughs> it came on. In all the ways. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, no, no. That's so great. I feel like we need a clink to that yeah. one. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, oh, uh, uh, wait. It has to be bold to bold. <laughs> okay. Let's try to play this. Try to play this. <laughs> we play this. We done mastered the clink now. Ooh. Okay. I was swirling the lemon water. Did you say honey? I know we said caramel, vanilla, marshmallow. Honey, yes. Honey and vanilla. Came out of nowhere. Me laughing. That's okay. So the great thing about this 15 year is yeah. that it takes you on a fucking journey. Like the more it sits. Yeah. I would just it takes water. you on a journey on the palate and on the nose. Oh, yeah. Like I was sitting there tasting through this with sure Frank cookie. and I was tasting through this with Tracy. Mm-hmm. Every time we picked it up, it was something different. Sugar cookie? Ooh. I don't know. Yep. Mm-hmm. All the way down to those brown cookie bottoms that I mm-hmm. love no, no, so no, no, much. No, no, no. Ah, I love sugar Ooh, cookie. I got I'm some really fucking chocolate chip cookies. cookie dough in the house. I'm gonna make Ooh, cookies. I bitch bought some Toll House cookie dough. Yes, I got some. I, I've had this damn, you know, the ones with the squares in the freezer. I yep. had that for so mm-hmm. long. I should just cook them one of these. Well, I can't. I can eat them right now. Oh, damn, yes, because you're being good. <sighs> damn, mm. I want a burger so bad. It's crazy. I'm gonna okay. go get one tomorrow. No, I got work tomorrow. I want some ramen. I think that I might awesome. go get some. Mm. Really dry on the palate in terms of texture. Mm. But I get that honey. More. It does. 
And I get that honey on the palate. Yeah. In taste and texture. Mm. That's good. Mm-hmm. I was going to say try that new ramen spot out, but it's not open. We're not fucking open. Fuck, on Mondays, bro? their hours are really fucking weird, it's and so I don't get dumb. it, and I don't appreciate it. Me neither. Like, fuck you guys, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> legit. <laughs> like, my girl, is you mad? Yes. Super I bad. am, actually. Because if you're supposed friend, to be the best ramen. Tuesday for their random ass special ramen Tuesdays. He mm. goes, he posts the picture at this point for the last three or four weeks of being there every, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. So it's got to be good. It's got to be good if you go back I don't back want you to week, go but... if, if it's not going to be chicken. You know what I'm saying? Right. If it's only just the special ramen of the day. Right. Because I can't do no fucking pork. Like, Maybe we can call mm. up and see. Yeah. Because that is a fair question. Like, I got to accommodate for the people who don't consume pork. Yeah. Like, or just like, oh, just come back when we do. I'm like, okay. Like, nigga. Right. Mm. I'm supposed to be going. You trying to go to New York with me? Yes. Saturday? I'm always, this coming Saturday? Yeah. I'm trying to go for Julia's birthday. It's the 28th? Yeah. Shit, I can't do this yeah. Saturday. It's so Damn. Random. It's super random. And- Brian's birthday. And we're putting together a party for oh, him. Oh, that's going to so, be nice. And then my mom leaves that Sunday to go to Columbia. So she's having a brunch right before Brian's party. Oh, that's so Her little nice. bon voyage brunch. So, Yeah, I'm going to uh, try to do it. I've okay been dying time. to go to fucking New York. Though. I'm overdue. Yeah. I, I get my moments where I like crave that energy of oh, New true. York. Yeah. Man, I've been wanting to pop in on Will. Oh yeah, Chef I will come, it. honey. I heard shopping at Christian Dior. I see I'm you, so bitch. Like, if I, I see you up, buying Dior bags, bitch. I, I see it. Some people's payments to come through. So if they do, then I'll go. If they don't, I'm okay. probably gonna go. But yeah, it's mm. gonna be impromptu. Julia, I love you, girl. Shout out to Julia and your big old titties. Hey, girl. Big old, big old. She got some tig old bitties, y'all. But she really not to objectify her, her but regardless. you said what? She really wants me to make it, so I'm gonna try to make it work regardless. Yeah. So. Quick little train it's ride. 30th, so. Oh, so that's yeah. big. Yeah. So I should go. Oh, so part of this celebration will also be for her. Yes. We're gonna have a turn yes. up for a turn up for yes. Julia Day because she's Aquarius too. So it's yes. definitely the same. It's definitely together for sure. I love Five it. Show. The room is gonna be great. I'm actually excited it's that I decided be really to go. Great. Me too. <laughs> Me Yo, too. That was the first Shout time out. I ever felt like Capri was disappointed in me. So I was. I was like, I was. oh no, my soul. I was like, wait. Was like, soul, come damn, back. From WSCT, we can do this later. She hit me with it. It is what it is. <laughs> I was like, oh, damn. Okay, babe, I got to book a flight. Oh, damn. Like, the people that are coming are literally the people I think about over. Almost anybody, not over my family, but like almost yeah. anybody. So it's like we say it could come. I was like, damn, Shate, I understand. Like you know, yeah. and I understood too. But also, it was like I'm about to push it off. Everybody's like, we can do but it. But it wound up working out yeah. for the better though, because now we have an I have an excuse to go to New Orleans exactly before tails exactly. Which I've been waiting for an excuse to go to New Orleans right. before tails. I'm gonna I'm so. work on booking our spot because I get a, a discount place. Oh um, yeah, okay. Right next to Teresa's um, place. Nice. So that's gonna be taken care of. So it'll just be. I'm like, gonna trying to finesse yeah. and like get some points and trying to use some points for my flight. Child. No, I'm trying, trying to try, finesse. You know what? I can just try too because I'm confused on when and when I cannot use. My damn points, because it'd be like, because I was trying to use it for a roommate. It's like, it doesn't work to this location. I don't know. I'm like, I got all these damn miles. I've been sticking with one airline. Yeah, for like, a how do we? Yeah, to get how my miles. How the fuck up. do I use my miles? Yeah. Shut I need to hurry up and get my American Airlines credit card because I want my goddamn free check back. Oh, that's right. I want my goddamn priority boarding. Yeah. I need all the things. I need to be accommodated because I'm tired. I'm tired too. Like, I need soft life. I need to get new luggage. Yes, that yeah, I too. Need to get I need some more hard, some more hard case luggage. And olive oil. <laughs> just put that out there. <laughs> <Olive oil. laughs> I forgot to get that. I got all these damn groceries and no damn olive oil. No, damn. No oil, I need olive oil. I got butter, but I don't want to be putting butter on everything. I have been cooking more with avocado oil. Okay, I need to learn more about the oil, all the different oils. I because do too. I cook with olive with um. Avocado oil, because of the higher fat content, it okay. can burn at a higher temperature, okay. or it can cook at a higher temperature without burning out. Right. Unlike olive oil, which almost immediately burns out. Yeah. Um, so I've been using avocado oil more, and it's a good, they're good fats. So, um, but I need to learn about the other oils that cook at high temp. Like, I know canola does. I'm really right. not cooking with canola on a regular basis, though. Like, that's for frying. Yeah. Um, and then I think vegetable oil cooks at a high temperature too but i don't know right but i want to learn about that like the walnut oils and the, all the things that's a good, and like yeah 
That makes like, sense. Getting my gourmet bag. I'm just used to olive oil. Like that's just yeah, because that's, that's what that's like literally what we're taught to kind of use with everything. Every and I but extra and I virgin use it olive oil is actually not meant for cooking. Like yeah. we're meant to cook with regular olive oil, not yeah. extra virgin, because that's thinner. Yeah, that's why huh. it's meant to be like a finishing oil, a, a dressing oil, yeah. stuff like that. Like it's really not meant to be cooked with at high <laughs> temperatures. So what oils do y'all? Which is why that y'all shit y'all burns out. Yeah, so what oils y'all cooking what with? Y'all cooking with? Get us. Let us know. Let us know a little something. Something. Mm. But Gina, I know you be I'm, listening, girl. What oil you cook with? Yes, girl. What you be cooking with? Another one with some tico bitties. Ooh, hey, girl. Go see her. I can't wait. First off, Gina is such a great travel. Buddy. She's a good travel buddy. She's, oh my god, I'll be that's right so that important. At traveling. I was gonna say that's like, so they, important. I have no worries about anybody. Good. The only thing is gonna be Greg. Like, what the fuck is he gonna get into? Yes. What is Lord? Please don't lose nothing in Aruba, Greg. We love you. <laughs> Please don't lose nothing in a Ruba child. But you know, him and Lavelle have been getting closer these days, That's good. and they've been like cooking out together. Blah blah. blah. So I'm nice. Like, it's gonna be a good bond when they're down there. That's good. And then, then seeing the three of them, Montana and Lavelle and Greg, on New Year's, I was like, okay, this is gonna be. They're gonna be fine. Good. The guys good. are gonna be guys, and I'm glad they all Yay. decided to make it because I was like, if it's two of you, I'm balanced. Two of you. It was the one of you. Sorry, bro. I have to tell you. I mean, I was the only girl. On my tail, yeah. Still, that's fun for girls, though. It's not as fun for guys. It's not the same to be the only one. <laughs> like I can have fun with it's just the, straight niggas. Yeah, well, I can. Like, I have my whole and life. I typically feel protected. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, legit. Hey, why not? We legit. here. So I'm excited. It's it's. I'm overdue for a flight. Yeah. So. I'm happy I'm flying straight the fuck in. Oh my fucking god. That was the best that. decision that I could have fucking made for myself. Got I gotta fly to Dallas, but either way, I don't give All a fuck. All right. I don't give a fuck because it'll be more convenient. Mm. <laughs> and it'll just, I just need to. Because Reagan's not international, it's national. Mm-hmm. I so you have that. to you have to do a layover I somewhere out okay. of Reagan. That makes sense. Um, but I don't mind. Shit. Wife, thank you. Drop me off. Love you. Thank you. Pick me up. Yes, love you, love you again. Like, thank you so much in advance. Yes. I'm still trying to convince her to get this ticket real quick and come on. You should get her to come? Yes. Yeah, come like, on. girl, the place, it's already, it's paid, already, paid, already paid for the room. It's like, what are we talking about? Yeah, the room's so, already paid for I'm still working on it. Because I yeah. feel like she needs to get out tell and get some on. sun tell and it's stuff, not, too. It's not extra money. It's already done. It's already done. It's literally already done. So, honestly, I might just fucking surprise her and get it like so that she can at least come for a few days like at least like that weekend or whatever whatever days it lands on yeah. i don't even know what day it lands so on. so it's tuesday to tuesday tuesday to tuesday okay so she could really do like a friday to monday yeah. or something like that like oh, come so on. she's gonna need some beaches, i might just surprise her ass and be like be you nice have a ticket so, it's already paid for, for what you doing for her birthday um we're doing a big cabin trip yeah no in get the April. beach in before you get i to think the... she needs to get some beach yeah. and some water time and like kind of decompress because yeah. the having um being stressed about like her grandma and all that type of stuff right. over the holiday i feel like she needs to like take a breath like, <laughs> right <laughs> right <laughs> she don't be watching her. she don't be watching let's give you a one she, she watch you like right the one she t- decides to tap it on right <laughs> wait we don't know if well, i'm doing or not yeah so, whatever <laughs> to be determined right yeah you should just do it okay. even if i did you won't know about it <laughs> that's true so yeah, i'm thinking about it. that though because I, I she she needs to get out i think the uh erica said the round trips right now are looking at like three yeah i see that ain't so, bad at all that ain't bad my round trip i think my round trip was like got i got it down to like th- i can't remember how much. i got it down to something mm-hmm. but child it's done it's, it's paid great. for it's needed it i just love what it's paid for and it's just now it's just the excursions that's what i gotta i gotta look at all those excursions you sent us yeah so there's three excursions and tell her what that yeah. budget is for that because <laughs> really that's it's just a matter like, of letting her know like in total the excursions all together are gonna be like two oh that's not bad 30 that's not bad at all okay because one's like 80 one's 50 one's 60 so okay that's that's not even two. Is that two something? Oh, yeah, but. Oh, my God. Bitch, honorary with it or not. I am not with the price of dry cleaning. What the fuck? Okay, what I just what got happened? an email that my dry cleaning was ready. That motherfucker is $130. 130 yeah, Well, I did give him I'm... seven coats to clean. Okay, well, then. <laughs> Girl, that sounds about right. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. 
That what the fuck about just about happened? Like, girl, it's I knew it was gonna be over a hundred dollars though, but when I swapped out, I saw the number. I was like, shit. Oh damn! Maybe. Talk about with her now. Motherfucking jewelry dirty. Okay, bitch. I am due on the first. Oh my god! So February listen, first, they got I, my. Ass. I got a girlfriend. She um she is on jury like uh grand jury duty some kind of jury duty Mm -hmm. for six months every tuesday oh my god what so she could either be called in or called out and she has to show up at nine o'clock in the morning and then there'll like be different cases that she has to sit in on wow and then not only that they only get paid six dollars a day dc is really out here treating my fucking slaves and then not only that I'm not, listen, they're not finding me. They're like, if you vote, they're going to find you. My, if you're registered I don't know if I vote. should say this, but I'm going to say this. My voting address is not my same address. Because <laughs> I lived in the same area the whole time. I'm like, why should I change it? I'm going to go vote in the same area. Yeah. Anyways, like, yeah. it's going to be fine. Like, I've, that's I haven't fucking changed hilarious. Me. So if they, if they said anything to me, it's going to the wrong that motherfucking mail's address. In the wrong mailbox, per, Yana. Period. You're not going to find me. Period. Yeah, they I mean, found you, you my could, black ass. But I done managed all this time my adult life with my Virginia address. <laughs> Not one motherfucker <laughs> needed my motherfucking presence <laughs> for this quote unquote civic duty. I get to Maryland all of a sudden to have a fucking civic duty. <laughs> Why can't we choose where our civic duty is? Like, is my question. I like, could be so much more useful in other places. I like, don't want to be a part of no. nobody's fucking jury determining whether or not they're guilty, innocent, or anything in between. Any of it. No. no. I'm not. Mm-mm. So, like, I'm not, I don't want to do that. And then I was thinking to myself, then, like, what would I do instead of jury duty for my civic duty? And yes, I can feed the homeless any day, but I would do that. I would feed the motherfucking people that not even just the homeless, just motherfuckers that need to be fed. They need to be fed. I would not all hungry people are homeless. Help. That would be a lot, but, and I don't like birth. But I would help kids. <laughs> I don't children, like at least, birth. At least a day, spend a day helping women give birth. I don't fucking See, you know. Can you be a doula for a day? <laughs> a doula, a doula for a backup. Day. A, a, a doula backup, <laughs> a one that gets the towels in the water. That's all oh you need me to do. I got you. Dab her head. Got it. Motherfucking uh, doula what else for my civic duty. I would help the kids cross the road. I don't fucking know anything besides. Can I be duty. a traffic person? Yeah, oh, I could do a traffic. Thing. I could do that for a day. I could do that for a day. Thing. I could be a traffic person for a day. Slow. <laughs> Stop you. <laughs> That's all they do is this. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's how you fucking know. <laughs> oh wait, do, do you stop or do you call? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> See, never mind. Never mind. It's not the job for me. Never mind. See. That's why I like talking dude. things through. Yeah. <laughs> Every time because get, at this point we got accidents and shit. Now nah, I'm in go. the middle of a motherfucking T bone and shit. I don't have time. Never mind. <laughs> My civic uh, duty would be something else. Something I don't know. What I'll else? make cocktails for the thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have no problem. I've worked plenty oh of God. fucking political fundraisers. Right. I feel like I've done my part. Anything else? I have served Anything else? the politico. I don't want to do. I'm good off jury duty. Oh it's a God. it's a nah. I don't want this me. no more. So, why don't y'all just hold on? Take a pool, take a poll of people who are actually into that shit. Yeah, people who like happen or to show understand up. Understand the language. Pill. Like some people just like sitting in and and being a part of the process and Literally. shit. Like that they get off on that shit. Use them people, please, because it's not me. Not me. I don't want to do it. I don't like it. Oh, I want to do mm. it. Mm. So it's fifteen on? year. That's good. It's delicious. Mm. It's delicious. It got spicier as it sat just now. Now it's like heavy on the pepper, all spicy clove type of situation. Mm. This one in particular, I like to let sit and just see what it do. Mm. Make it do what it do. So like what's the same? You said Mexican hot chocolate. Mexican hot chocolate. Have you had that before? Like a boiler? I have not. So Mexican hot chocolate is like... um. The hot chocolate, but always with like cinnamon and different spices, mm. stuff like that. It's so good. That sounds that, that sounds like right up my fucking like alley too. Really I love chocolate and cinnamon and like those type of spices in hot chocolate. Too. You should make some for me too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Will you want a cocktail after this? Yes, I do. Actually, I got citrus finally. You know yes, girl. I be y'all. I be in here every week.
week and be like, yeah, you got some lime or something in the fridge. We're like, like, no. <laughs> I'm like, Mr. Barton, how you Shout out got- to, my, to my good sir. You know, he makes sure I keep the gross show me. Yes, first of all, and I know I'm probably talking about this man too much, but I'm just so excited <laughs> that he is like a, really a stand-up guy. He's a stand-up guy. I'm going to give him his little, I mean, I'm always keeping an eye, keeping my best friendly eye. Yes, 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 yes. So I always say, yes, I love him for now. <laughs> you know, just as long as he's consistent. You know, yeah. But I love that he's like just a stand-up guy. Yeah. Like, he's just cool. Genuine. He's even kill. He's genuine. Yep. He get along with my wife. Love that. You can't be mad at that. Because they got mutual people that they know and stuff. So that's always, it always, when it's seamless between, like, the friends and the partners and stuff, that makes everything easy. Oh, my gosh. It makes it so easy. So now next phase is a double take. <laughs> I love it. I'm and I love that we had the long standing married couple there. Oh my Because I'm definitely about so to nice. I'm about to stay sorry, males. I'm gonna be up in y'all business a little bit. Yeah. But just for the sake of like learning from y'all. Because I definitely I love how unconventional like their relationship is. It's mm. not like traditional, so yeah. to speak. Like um in the way one would expect. Yeah. And I just love that they they create together. They yes. have fun together. Yes. They get serious together. Yes. Like, and they keep their business in-house. They do. And when they're out in these streets, it's a united front. We would never Every know time. if anything's wrong. And we should never know if anything's wrong. And yeah. I love that. And I just love and respect them so much. Yeah. Um, and yeah. And so I love it. And now we've yes. got, got Tunji in the mix. <laughs> Making sure the groceries is grocery and or whatever. Thank you. I love that. I appreciate that was a direct you. manifestation too. Like y'all don't even I understand. Re- like the conversations we've had off mic about even- like <laughs> just don't sure ask I- me anything about like am I hungry or this that the third or like just make sure or, I have like food. participate in a conversation with me about me being hungry <laughs> and you not making sure I'm fed. Right. Like, my G who it was raised legit. you. Legit. So clearly, too, she was raised right. <laughs> But really and shot it, up, Africans shot is not letting nobody go hungry. Period. Though <laughs> that's a that's a cultural thing. That's real. Africans is not letting nobody go hungry. Not in their presence. That's real. That's real. That's real. Mm. Okay, so what's two? Okay, we you know we shot about up. to play our girl, honey, because we love some her. Yes. About this ignorant ass Republican. It's so I'm gonna keep oh, it black. God. But I'm going to keep it brief. Now, Ron, you sound like a bitch. <laughs> this time, Ron DeSantis has gone as far to ban AP Black History of Florida schools. Why are you so obsessed with me? College Board, the organization in charge of certifying AP curriculum and the SAT, is halfway through a pilot program launching an AP African American Studies course at 60 schools across the country. Now, we don't know if any of them schools are actually in Florida, but of course, Ron DeSantis had to open up his mouth. On January 12th, he and his friends over at the Department of Education wrote a letter to the College Board saying that an AP African American Studies course is inexplicably contrary to Florida law and significantly lacks educational value. <laughs> That's wild. Then had the audacity to say that should the college board be willing to come back to the table with lawful, historically accurate content, Florida mm. would be willing to discuss. <laughs> Boy, these people are not at all interested in equal rights, nor are they interested in appearing as if they do. Tell the truth, shame the devil. First of all, saying black studies lacks educational value is insane, especially when what? you currently permit AP Fucking courses nuts. in Japanese language and culture, German language and culture, Italian language and culture, Spanish language and culture, and European history altogether. Muff- they Back don't even go here, here. We got a history or culture that's somehow more valuable to the learning experience of American children than an advanced and concentrated course in actual American history. Cool. Crazy. Black studies literally brings to light the underbelly of so many things. The nascent of the American economy, the industrial revolution, civil disobedience, technological advancements, hell, even modern gynecology. And that's the problem. We will steal their thunder and rain on their parade. Black movements have also triggered waves across the American continent and American history over and over and over again. So what are we even talking about? What you are really saying is that European history history and these other courses that focus specifically on culture and language, not even these people's experiences as minorities on American soil don't threaten the narrative of the American dream. AP courses also provide students with the opportunity to gain credit towards their degrees at institutions of higher learning. So it's also giving that you don't think black history is elevated or sophisticated enough and that's crass and your mama ought to be shamed. So beyond the willingness to be unabashedly racist and deplorably unread backwater knuckle dragging Neanderthals because you don't read and therefore inform policy restricting people's rights based off something that you heard, you don't even know what critical race theory is. Number one, it's not new. It's been around for over 40 years and has typically been reserved for graduate level courses, not even undergrad for some time outside of HBCUs, Period. more commonly available to students in law school with an interest in how American racism has affected lawmaking and legal systems. Yeah. The word theory be throwing y'all for a loop and unfortunately gives y'all a distaste off principle because you think that it means it's just a bunch of hoopla. When the reality of the matter is, we couldn't call it a theory if y'all bitches didn't make it up. Period. Ooh. Critical wow. race theory hinges on the fact that race is a so- 
social construct and therefore constructed by society in service to the gain of a desired racial majority. We simply giving it a name. Y'all the ones pulled it out your asses. So the claim that Sanders and friends made that this course leaves large, ambiguous gaps that can be filled with additional ideological material is just as hollow and misinformed as the American education system itself. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds like an NAACP Image Award winner to me. Historically inaccurate. The college board didn't just hop on the Black History Follow train. They've been working on this for more than a decade, working alongside college faculty and actual scholars to produce evidence-based material, something you know nothing about. It's fear-mongering. White people have been using the same playbook over and over again, raising unfounded and illegitimate concerns amongst their peers about the impending threat of black anything, when in fact, we was minding our business when you found us. and been trying to mind our business ever Ooh, since government child. could no longer sustain the institution of slavery. But minding our business, business means We're that you can't live fully your business. delusions, so it's a problem. Second of all, inextricably contrary to Florida law simply means Florida would like to continue to ignore racism while openly practicing it. Oh, we're not done. This is just the most recent effort by DeSantis and his administration to halt the exposure of its children to real life. He's already banned critical race theory, specifically prohibited the teaching of the 1619 Project, and even has stipulation around how schools can talk to students about race, let alone gender and sexuality. And this yes. is man they want to run for president next year. Someone actively engaging in censorship. We're talking about an what? official making moves that mimic the very communists they're so afraid of. How you yes. gonna literally ban books and propaganda as the USSR in the same breath? Huh? Big rock. But also, Period. go vote for me. NAACP Image Award voting is open daily. Link in the bio. Yes, girl. Shouts out to you. I, I mean, she said <laughs> everything. She, she said it. I mean, every it's, fucking it's, thing. It's, it is. <laughs> we are still not <sighs> people. So our history wouldn't matter to people who don't believe that who we don't are look people. at us as actual human Humans. fucking beings. It's it's really just boils down to. He has zero desire to acknowledge the reality yeah. of the role that white people have played in the turbulent nature and of how this fucking country. Affected and how it has affected Black every folks. single thing. And everything. And everything. Everything. And he probably doesn't want to highlight the journey that is the black experience in America and all of the accomplishments that have managed to have the the fucking innovation, the ingenuity, all of that that takes that's taken place, despite the fact yes. that this country has treated us as less than human the entire fucking time Period. since we've been here. Period. And yet we still managed to advance your technology to fucking influence the way you eat, the way you drink, the way you think, the way you like what all like that. literally we're ingrained in the fabric of this entire fucking country. Didn't even ask to be here in the first place. Yeah. Minding our business when you found us. <laughs> minding our minding business. Minding our entire business. And we're always trying to mind Native our Native Americans were here minding their entire fucking business. Do y'all not understand how that's a problem that every time we're trying to mind our business, y'all find it an issue? That makes no sense. And Why must we want to educate the occupants of this fucking country on the reality of this fucking country? And uh. you're trying to do everything within your little fucking small <sighs> dick like she said knuckle dragon neanderthal power <laughs> that's a knuckle dragon for me the knuckle dragon i fucking love it i so love your word i love your wordy birdie Eddie. she's a wordy birdie yes yeah, she's great um but you doing everything within your little bit of power to to bring us back period fucking centuries as much as you can hold on to if this motherfucker were president i'm gone y'all i'm sorry i'm doing so pallet from france or something gotta go i'm not this is not it can't be life it can't i'm gone we're like leaving. trump was already the fucking shit icing on a Child, hefty he turd cake trying to go again too. he's trying to run again i feel like him and Kanye. i think we're in cahoots of some kind um, oh, at least that's go, the chatter guys. that I've heard. I try not let to feed too much energy into all of it because it stresses me out. So, me neither. It's just like, it's so gross. I'm just like, but, shit. Honestly, that's one of the areas I know that I can't affect anything political right now. Yeah, like all I general. can do is make sure I vote, make sure I show up, would make my voice, my, my, little, my, little my feelings is accounted not for. You, you hear, hear And so that way I can't complain if something just, goes, you know, in a different direction or whatever. I said my piece. <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> i said my piece now one day when i have a bit more wide span influence okay. you know then i'll you know maybe i'll start attending these fundraisers that i typically be serving at and really asking for shit that that motherfuckers need you know we'll Would figure you? that part out maybe in, my, maybe in my 40s right i'll be in those circles or something who Crazy knows shit bro Ciao. Crazy shit. But yeah, that shit's crazy as fuck. I just don't understand at this day and age how we can 
still be this. But she said the way she said it, censorship. And that's going to be the way that you control people in general. And we've seen it in history. And we're going to continue to see it. When people are in leadership, they want to censor and make sure that they're only showing the people a certain thing, which means that they're only learning and growing into certain things, which then is easy to control. Yes. Sadly. But you're in a day and age where these motherfuckers, even if they're not getting it in school, will they're get gonna learn it, it on the like, internet. Yeah. Period. It doesn't matter. Like, so the motherfuckers who want to take that course, they're gonna get their information somewhere. They're gonna find it. Like you thinking that you stopping somebody from learning some shit, but no, my nigga. Now there's just gonna be so many other avenues that open up for people to get access to this information because you're making such a point they're to block going it. Going to fucking like, find it. Like period. You just. You really got the game fucked up with your bitch ass. You funny looking motherfucker. <laughs> so talk to me about girl. Okay, so our last episode, because you know I really still don't know who these people are. I have no clue. girl. Yes, I know you don't. And really, I know you're not gonna watch their <laughs> show, child. So I ain't even gonna bother having you watch the show. <laughs> they the finale came on last night of their weird dysfunctional ass show. So okay, so y'all they even get a show. I am very much in these ignorant reality TV streets, and so. I have been on Zeus watching the Christian and Blueface show. Yeah. And I just, the show, it started off with giving me a lot of context into why they both are the way they are. Yeah. Right. And that's fine. Now we know why. But it's like, now that we as a people know why. Is anybody going to do anything about this shit? Because I'm just like the spiraling for me is now because I wasn't on that. Like, oh, I'm so concerned. Everybody needs to be, you know, looking out for a croissant. Blah, blah, blah. Like, like, yeah, I get why people are saying that, why they feel that way and all that. But at the same time, I'm like, they're not that different from a lot of people out here who yeah, are just they in, really in are like toxic hood love cycle it's constant that shit is fucking regular. chaos and yeah like chaos and calamity everywhere they're All not time. the only couple that's like this no. they just have a platform yes now eh, kind of feeling like the, the eh, i'm gonna need you to back up a little bit the platform is is platforming too much and all the wrong shit is being highlighted like that link that I had put in the outline today, yeah. the fucking meltdown for me. I was like, okay, now I'm concerned. Somebody needs to, to come wrap, wrap some loving arms around this girl. Because it's just the, like, she's drinking way too much. Yeah. it's She's making herself look really crazy out yeah. here. And because she's super defensive and very I don't much know just if she's like. she's making herself look crazy or she just is well, she crazy. is Well, okay, yes. Yes, very good point. No, good point. Good point. Uh, Burbage matters. Yeah. So she's out here showcasing her crazy. Here we go. It's amplified by alcohol. Yeah. But then she tries to like dumb it down with weed. And so it's like this bad combination. How old is she? She's like early 20s. Exactly. That's early 20s. I was crazy at that age too. Yeah. And I I mean, I was probably over drinking a little bit. I was definitely over drinking. And then also I didn't know how to communicate my emotions with people. I was crying. Uh, to niggas I was trying when I found out niggas was doing whatever I was pulling up my girl was pulling up on motherfuckers like mm. we was crazy and she's taking crazy to hold so it's like, like and then she's doing this on television so yeah but she's like, doing it on TV I, I'm gonna she's doing all it at interviews really think back to your early 20s yeah and think about your if you went to college your college days or your early drinking days and how your emotions was everywhere Every mm-hmm. motherfucking wear. And if you wanted I to fight, you wanted to fight in that I moment. I need some, some to, motherly know? figure because I know she's not going to respect yeah. anything that comes from her own parents because of how much she's like witnessed with them or whatever. Oh, that's real. Like, she has so little respect for authority yeah. that even if somebody's coming in with some, with some sensible shit, yeah. with something really to say, yeah. she's not trying to hear anything they have to say. Right. Like their little finale episode or whatever, they went to Doctor Ish. I don't think you've ever watched Marriage Boot Camp, uh-uh. but Doctor Ish is this um, psychiatrist. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know if he's a psychiatrist, he's a therapist, um, and he's like the main doctor on this show, Marriage Boot Camp, the main counselor or whatever. Right. So he was their therapist that was provided for them for Krishan and Blueface on the show. Okay. This motherfucker, Krishan, is sitting there. Once she's trying to like laugh everything off, and if she can't laugh it off, she just like gives these like basic ass answers for stuff. Just basically trying to like shut down yeah. any attempts to really go deep into anything. Yeah. And 
fucking throwing back a bottle of Patron, following it up with Red Bull, like just doing the most. Yeah. And so he did these individual sessions with them, you know, individually first and then brought them together. When it got to the point of bringing them together, she's wanting to sit on Blueface's lap in the middle of the session and shit, like just doing too much. Yeah. She's doing a lot and it's really like, why are you all over I'm the place? concerned for her mental. Yeah, yeah, I'm just concerned for her mental. Yeah. Like, because it's, it's one thing to be like to be quirky and to have some little crazy tweaks about you yeah. or whatever. Everybody's got their shit. But there's she just has, something. The there's something. Sure. There's something else there she that's just not that. being addressed because everybody's so busy rewarding the poor behavior. Yeah. And that is the only part where I was just like, okay, I'm a little concerned. Yeah. Like, a little bit concerned. That, in addition Definitely to... Definitely seems like she needs some help, for sure. Her going fucking bananas. I don't know if you looked at this. Yeah, well, she was like... Ooh. So, this was... So, y'all, what y'all are hearing is her having an entire tantrum at a No Jumper interview. She kicked their TV... And that was a strong kick, so I know that TV's done for. Why are you doing this? Blue, what are you this doing? is in the middle of an interview, y'all. Josh, whatever it is, I mean, it's good. Right. That's enough calamity. Y'all get the point. Okay. For me, <sighs> there's so many layers to why I'm concerned about this. But I guess, and this just is my personal, like, preference in terms of how to handle any discord in a relationship yeah i don't like publicly handling relationship stuff well it really when you go when you slide through those slides it really felt like she wasn't even thinking about it being an interview no not at all she does not she doesn't care the venue she doesn't care who's around she doesn't care if it's a potential bag involved she does not care Seems like you're not here with me it seems like you're my enemy why are you trying to be my enemy right now is what it seemed like she constantly yeah she constantly feels like he's throwing her under the bus in certain situations or whatever and she and I like if you sift through all the crying and the drunkenness and all of that really she was she was pissed off that he wasn't being forthright about the incident right where she hit knocked him in the head with the glass right she was saying her whole point was you're acting like it was something that I did first it was a reaction to what you did to me right and she but it all of that whole point really could have been more succinct and and nipped just in said. the bud, it's like and just said like but that. I think it's also because he wasn't even trying to admit to it either. No, he so. definitely plays everything down. He's he's a gas. Which, when you're he's with, a professional gaslighter. When you're with somebody like, like that, you feel crazy all the damn time, all the fucking up, time, and you don't know how to you control end your up really looking or crazy. communicate your emotions. This blow up happens. And you're drinking and you're smoking and you're doing and all so this stuff. Everything is your amplified. Yeah, like. And so she, her point never got caught no. because she's acting out and like doing all this extra shit, getting removed. Security's having to fucking hold you. You're kicking shit, messing up people's property and shit. Now y'all gonna get an invoice for a broken TV. <laughs> When all you really had to say was, nigga, why is you lying in front of these people? You right. know a good goddamn why I knocked you in the back of your head because you hit me. <laughs> what are we talking about? We all Period. know you ain't got no problem hitting me. We've seen it on TMZ. Yeah. What are we talking about? Right. It is public knowledge that we hit each other. Yeah. <laughs> so you could at least own it. I mean, she could really have handled that so much better. Yeah. My whole thing is, I just don't believe in putting your personal business in the street like that. I don't I know. I agree. Like, even if y'all are in a moment of discord or disagreement or whatever... You check that motherfucker in the car. Period. Not in the middle of an interview. Now you can't even have the interview. Yeah, that, that interview is That scrapped. entire interview is scrapped. Only thing it's going to be known for now is the fact you kicked that motherfucking TV in like it was somebody's <laughs> teeth. And that security had to fucking hold you and flipping you around throughout the set and shit. Legit. And he's sitting there looking like, I mean, I told y'all. Yeah. This is yeah. how she be acting. I can't control her. What do you want me to do? What do Here you I am. Do? I try not to put energy. Like his his way, he said, of dealing with her is to not put energy into it and hope that it dies down. But as it's shown, all it does is amp her up even more. Yeah, because more. she's seeing that you're not reacting to her. Because she wants you to, to react. essentially react, but react in a way of... Embracement. It, affirming that she's not as crazy as you're trying to make her seem. But because you're the one trying to make her seem crazy in the first place, of course you're not going to affirm that she's not as crazy because (laughs) you're busy affirming your thoughts, which is that she's crazy as fuck. (laughs) 
And so it's never the going cycle. to work. The it's an endless fucking cycle. And now they apparently aren't together, according to the tweets, because they always giving out the status of what's going on well, in yeah, their life. Yeah, because they're not together now because uh, her baby. Well, so <sighs> is there is not he's his. Out, so he's saying that what we don't know or understand is that it's not just him that steps out of their little dynamic or right. whatever. He claims, I don't believe him, but I also don't know their life right. either. So just my opinion. Yeah. But he's saying she's been with 10 plus guys outside of him since they've been dealing with each other. So he don't know whose fucking baby that is. Oh, okay. And until he has a DNA test, he ain't claiming it. That's okay. his stance. Did she uh, confirm it though? I she confirmed that it's him. She's saying it's him because uh, I'm pretty sure from her perspective she's saying it. Who else could it be? Yeah, because she's not out here claiming that she's been with ten plus guys. Right. She has said multiple times if that's what she wanted to do, that's what she would do because he's so openly doing his own thing. True. But that's not what she has a desire to do. I Which also, will also make you crazy. <laughs> it will also make you fucking nuts. And I also feel like. It's kind of tough for a dude to be fucking somebody who has like seven tattoos of another nigga on them, like every part of their body. You gotta, you can't fuck her in the front. She got Jonathan right here and a fucking portrait of his face on her neck. That's not too sexy. Who does? Hey, Christian, she has seven blue face tattoos in different forms. She's got the portrait here. She's got his name here above her eyebrow, and then five other in other locations. I don't know where they are, but seven. He has constantly, I mean, of course he likes it, but he has always said, I've never requested this. Of course he hasn't. <laughs> uh, and she, her <laughs> response to Dr. Ish, when he asked, like, why she does it or whatever, I'll be, I'll be bored. Why not get my niggas tatted on me? Cause he was like, you know that else. makes, he's like, you know that makes no sense, right? Anything that is else. not why you do it. Like You're obsessed. Like, you, like. Let's be real. Like, she was not, she was just trolling shit out of Dr. Yeah. Ish for real. Like, not trying to be real. But this, I'm kind of need, I kind of need this train wreck to, like, stop. Like, we kind of need <laughs> to hit the end of the road on the train wreck so we could all stop rubbernecking and looking at this shit, myself included, because they need a, they need a detox. They need a moment with Jesus. Well, I don't even believe in Jesus. Yeah. But they need a moment with whoever they pray to. That's real. To like reset yeah. and like reassess and come back to the drawing board. This nigga losing money with the label because <laughs> of this Christian shit. He got whack 100. Like my nigga, yeah, like we need to get to the money. Like this is not working. Yeah, that's real. Like we need to get rid of this joke. We've been trying to get rid of her for years at this point. <laughs> Poor whack. He will never. He has been trying. To be fair, he has been trying to get rid of Shawty because it's not given. He but will, he's not going to get rid of her. Please. Pray for them, Ooh, y'all. No Pray for them baby. people, child. Yeah. Pray for them people, because the tantrums right. is tantruming. Yes. And it's just not giving. Four sip, baby. Four, Four sip. sip. What are we into? All right. Now, this yes. is... Brrr, this is where we need a soundboard. <laughs> um, A seal box single barrel. Okay. So, we've got seal box single barrel number one. The smoked barrel. Ooh. So... I think the smoke barrel is like a group that picked this barrel or whatever. I'm oh, okay. still a little fuzzy on the details behind this, but I'm okay. going to read what we got. So, the Sailbox Private Reserve Single Barrel, first of its name. <laughs> it is, oh, this is another Barstown. Okay, so the um, distiller for this single barrel is Barstown Bourbon Company. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Nick. Hey. Um, so, we got a 781012. Um, corn rye malted barley okay. for the mash. This is a five year, four month old bourbon. Like I said, distilled by Barstown. Um, ooh, okay, so the story. Via Blake. I knew we had to come out with something exciting for our first seal box single barrel. If you haven't read the label, here's our mission for these releases. <laughs> the beauty of, our, of a private program is its diversity of barrels. Seal box has worked hard to acquire whiskey from multiple states and distillers. We've done this to provide an exclusive and unique experience for those vetted private barrels. Certain barrels showcase notes of caramel and vanilla. Other similar aged barrels provide notes of oak and spice. This wide array, wide array of barrels highlights the elegance of bourbon. We're proud to release these barrels to discerning enthusiasts and newcomers alike. The first single barrels from Barstown Bourbon Company. This is a distillery that means a lot to Sealbox. That's so true. We were their first retailer outside the state of Kentucky. We love their approach to collaboration and how they make whiskey. It isn't a collaboration, but we couldn't think of a better distillery to highlight our first single barrel. 
This barrel was selected with a group of bourbon enthusiasts slash friends here in Jacksonville. Each year, we host a bourbon tasting called the Smoked Barrel. We celebrated our sixth annual tasting with this selection. That barrel is now available to Sealbox enthusiasts and friends. Yeah. And it's sold out. Sorry, guys. Oh, but boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> if there happens to be any spares by the time we fulfill everything, you can always DM me because sometimes that actually does happen and people get lucky. And I actually answer my DMs. So, yes. All right. Um, if y'all are curious, after we give y'all our review on this, hit me up in the DM. Hit us up or hit her up. <laughs> okay, let me see. What's the proof on this little shawty? Let's see. 119 proof. So we went back down. Okay, okay. 119 Ooh. is still up there, shawty. It's still up there, y'all. I, I'm getting like. Orange? Yes. Is Definitely orange. Or it's almost like. I want to say juice because there's some sweet to it. <sighs> not what I can pull out. I'm I'm getting white pepper. Okay. I'm getting ground like allspice, okay. but ground because it's like that like that powderiness Powder. when you smell something that's like a powder. Yeah. It's giving that. It's giving boss beef. <laughs> it's giving Bows Beach. Hey, Lotto. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> What's she been up to? Whatever, yeah. Girl being up under her me, her me, her me. <laughs> That's what it's giving. Okay. Give you guys anything else? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm getting the pepper. I'm getting the orange. Allspice. I'm getting the allspice. God, I need to blow my nose too. Fucking A, dude. I, don't know if it's I blame the environment. Work. Really it's just the earth out because i'd be the, i'd be stepped up in my own fucking house and i got fucking air filters and fucking <laughs> shit like it look it's the earth we treat you so bad earth and i apologize on behalf of all humankind because we ain't shit as a species yes sun look at that beauty yes the sun is sunning that, imagine if it was cloudy outside y'all and we had these shades on we'd be looking real dumb <laughs> Mm. Who's hot? The Excuse smoked me, barrel is right. <laughs> I know that's the name of y'all group, but y'all took it oh. real literal with this single barrel. Oh yeah. shit! Do the whole squish. Give me another one. Yeah, give me one more. Thank you. And I don't usually do that much with y'all, but yeah, I want to open it up. Yeah, open her up. What? I want to open the girl up. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, the so far the nose it just amplified the spice, the water. Mm. Mm. This is reminding me of tasting like I don't know if it's reminding me of tasting a rum or if it's reminding me of tasting that. like okay, so it's got to be rum <laughs> because I'm getting like brown sugar, brown sugar. I'm getting like soil. Yeah. Like I'm getting that earth element. I'm getting like, like, like if this was a a very well aged rum yeah. that spent a good amount of time in oak, it's giving me that on the palate. So maybe to be like honest. the molasses byproduct molasses or something like yeah. that. Yeah, with that smokiness that that yeah. type of molasses gives off that smokiness yeah. too. <clears throat> mm. Sidebar: Trying molasses at Mount Gay Distillery was probably one yeah. of my favorite experiences ever. Like just tasting that fucking molasses right out of the Wow. It's fucking cool. Shout out to Maggie. Hey girl. Yes. Such a great soul. Ooh, I'm getting something real specific. What the fuck is that? Oh shit. Is it like a type of cookie? Is it mm. Ooh, it's so specific too. Yeah. Damn, it's gonna come to beautiful. me. Beautiful. It's gonna come to it's me. It's a beautiful color. Mm-hmm. It's a gorgeous color. I diluted it a little bit, but yeah, it's a great color. Y'all can see by the bottle. So pretty. Mm. But yeah, it's y'all. I'll tell you what. Where we eat? In the motherfucking house. <laughs> and wherever so, I find some ramen after this, because I'm gonna sit. I haven't had like a, a moment to dine out by myself in a minute, so do it. I'm gonna so do. Nice. I'm gonna take myself to a little lunch after this, and just do some ramen and it's like so nice. clear my brain. Yeah. Um, mm. so mm. I went to San Francisco, didn't even tell y'all, but it was such a great time. And while I was there, um, good, good culture club, mission Chinese and 
they were delicious. Um, both Asian food, Mission Chinese was Chinese food, but with uh, more uh, uh, modernist feel to the cuisine, where Good Good Culture Club was kind of like a mix of so many different types of Asian cuisines in mm. one. And then Zam Zam's was this dive bar that was right around the corner from my hotel. I actually had a really great location where mm. I stayed. I played. I stayed at this place called Stanion mm-hmm. Hotel across from the Golden Gate Park or whatever. And it was such great location to so many things. But Zam Zam's was so... What I loved about the city, and it's something that I love about New Orleans, is that it has such a retroness to it. Mm-hmm. You know, so... San Francisco felt like it was stuck in the 70s, but transformed, if that mm-hmm. makes any sense. Like, we still have this very 70s feel to us, Ooh. but we're, we, you know, we're still keeping up with. We're still keeping it modern, yeah. So Zam Zam's was this small dive bar, and it had all the pictures of, like, the, the old owner and when it opened up. And it was just great. Best jukebox I've ever seen. Like, just funky shit on that shit. And, you know, it was great. Simon, the bartender, was awesome awesome and supposedly you get zam zammed and i got zam zammed and they what like, does that mean to you get, get zam <laughs> you get in like right at last call and if he fucks with you he closes the door you're there like drinking and talking and listening to music and that was and then you walk home like oh, bitch, i'm zam zammed <laughs> that's funny as fuck but first of all that place was great it's definitely what i will remember and i just was thinking to myself like what bars in dc one, I've always been thinking, like, what bars in D.C. Are, have been older than 20 years outside of, like, Old Ebbett and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like Hamilton. Yeah. And, yeah, kind of like, where bars, else? Like, not know? bars. It's only restaurants. Only restaurants. And, and then, I like, can't think of, like, a long-standing bar right. where the bar is the focus. Like, not, I can't even say Ben Chilwell because that's not a bar. But, like, then also, like, what place in D.C. gives that retro vibe to it? Nothing. Nothing. There isn't. There isn't. It's that crazy. So you know, DC is such a conservative city. Yeah, such a conservative, like buttoned up city. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the my, most of the you know catering of this city was to government professionals. Yep, that's just what that is. Yeah, it's it's the capital of the nation. Yeah. So that makes sense. Um, so you know. There are places like off the record inside, like there's these hotel places that kind of feel Mm -hmm. that like, it's not even retro, but just like, okay, I can feel the history here, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, But San Fran really had that like, y'all are so fucking quirky out here. (laughs) But that's California for you too though. It's also an East Coast versus West Coast kind of thing in that sense of like, like just like you were telling me, um, the girl you finally got a chance to meet, what's your name? Simone? Uh, Oh, Simone Bims. Yes. Was saying that like, you know, on the West Coast, it's just such a different, it's a different energy period, period in yeah. terms of, you know, how to even how approach you move, how you walk, stuff. how you, so, yeah, so literally. It's that too. Like, because it's such a buttoned up city in D.C., like, maybe, you know, people who are opening these spots don't feel like they can take the risk of doing something that's super, yeah, like, that's themed out or whatever. Not themed out, but like. Something that's like a throwback or yes. something like on the more creative side of like yes. creating a certain type of experience. It seems like it's shied away from a little bit yeah. in DC. Like yeah. it takes someone who's not from DC to come in and kind of do it yep. because the people who have spent, uh, once you spend enough time here, it gets ingrained in you just kind of the way the city is. Yeah, that's true. So. That's true. We shall see each other. We got endless transplants around this motherfucker. <laughs> endless. Endless fucking transplants. Motherfuckers from New York and shit want to come and like. Legit. Fucking make a stamp here. Like like Death and Company of all things. Yeah, like, they, I so? enjoy Death and Company in New York though. I haven't been in years. But I'm hoping I'll enjoy whatever version they're bringing to DC. I really yeah. hope it's not about to be New York Death and Company. Yeah. Just transplanted Into to DC. fucking. Yeah. Like yeah. that's not. That's not going to be given. You got to yeah. honor the city you in. Yeah. Like, I don't know what they did with their West Coast spot. I mean, it's beautiful. I've never been to it to experience it and see if it matches the vibe of the city. Right. Um, But I just hope they pay proper respect to the city that they're now newly occupying. But New Yorkers tend to not be the greatest at that. Right. Because their arrogance has them thinking the New York way is the only way. But we shall see. I don't know y'all personally know if that's how you're going to (laughs) be. So I can only hope. We go see. That, yeah. Yeah. One can hope. I think I'm going to go for... Uh, mm, mm, I, mm, mm. I think I drank all my... I am... 
Hoping to get into Pilates, y'all. Okay. Just throwing that out there as a random manifestation. I love it, Pilates. I reached out to a Pilates studio this morning. Oh, nice. So, I, I got I to gotta do something that's going to get me out of the house. Like, yeah. I'm not a gym rat where I want to go and, like, fucking weights and Same, shit. Me neither. I'm not into it. I feel like Pilates, I'm also not the girl that's necessarily going to go to, like, the dance workout either. Because yeah. I'm just not. Yeah. That maybe one day I'm just not a comfortable choreographed dancer. So <laughs> I just don't want to embarrass myself. But I think I could get into Pilates. Yeah. I enjoy the classes that I take, like, through Yoga Collective. Yeah. But I want to really get into it. Like, they got the balls and the, the fucking thing where they sliding back and forth and your legs going up and all this. Like, I want to do all that. Do all the things. <laughs> so I'm trying to get my body back right. Yeah. I've yeah. been getting a little soft and fluffy <laughs> and i need to get that together before it's too late <laughs> like so i decided i'm gonna try a pilates studio okay i need to get out of the house and not just do some shit at home because it's very easy yeah. we just roll over on the mat and be like i'm yeah, tired a pilates studio over here on uh, a street bro mm-hmm. yeah i'm um I'm trying to look for one there's one that's like maybe 10 minutes from my house and nice. more. So I will have no excuse about it being too far. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I got to There's a certain level of accountability that comes with like paying a monthly membership to something yeah. and like spending your fucking money on it. I need to get up and do something. Yeah. I'm so Pilates to is going to be my attempt. I, I want to get into walking this trail more nearby, mm-hmm. stretching more. And then I'm going to, I've been looking at, I really love step aerobics. I think really I love, how retro I love because like black people have turned that into like really fun as fuck fun trap ass stuff. those classes look fun as yeah, fuck so I don't know of any in DC but there is um the um stay down day fit um they are based in Atlanta but they have um online classes that you can follow along with oh nice so I'm thinking about just getting my own little step, step and right. then walk the trail stop at a place and Put my phone up and do my little yeah thirty minutes or whatever twenty minutes or whatever and then walk back. I'm here for it. So, I like that. We'll see what happens. We'll check in with y'all on that <laughs> and keep y'all posted on the journey or whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna try to get some cute workout clothes and make me feel like yeah. Somebody give me it. some Fenty Sport. Please don't give me yeah. another reason to shop on Savage Fenty. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. At this point, I am not skipping a month of my little credits because I'm using them bitches. Use, I I don't use any of mine. I need to go use mine. Oh, girl. I, 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 oh, you I, got a nice little build up of some credits probably. there again. But that's nice because you had a nice little pillage last time when you was stacking your credits I up. <laughs> I need to let, let mine see. stack up for a couple months, but now Rob oh. wants some bras, so I'm going to get her some Fenties. Um, <gasps> oh, what's that? What that is? It's a happy face, y'all. It's a ticket to something. Ooh, tongue Oh, we got to hurry up. Tongue we gotta go soon. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Guys, she's got a date, so we're gonna wrap all it right. up. That was okay. a great show. We yeah. love you love all, you guys. Thank Sorry. you. Share, comment, subscribe, <laughs> yeah. engage. Um, be sure to share and comment and subscribe yes. and all those things. And we love you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Yes. Use promo code Soul, Soul. for your next seal box purchase. Yes. And we love y'all. Love you. Bye. Clink, clink, and all the fun things. Yes, quick, clink, quick, clink. Yes, bowl to bowl. Ooh, Ooh, that was real sultry and sexy. Love ya.